that. Okay. What's worse, losing your man to your homegirl or losing your man to your ex? <laughs> wow. <laughs> mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. What up, what up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shot. Shot vs. a Bite Podcast, episode 175. We got a uh, special guest in the building. Um, she is an entrepreneur, a uh, creator of Trap Kino, a wife, a mother of two, um, a cook. Three I saw, now. I see, I see, oh, three, three now. Oh, shit, congrats, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Four. Cook. She a cook. She be cooking. I see her getting a cook on the junk. A host and an aspiring comedian. You know what I'm saying? We got Darnita Davis in the building. And her dream is to take over the Steve Harvey Morning Show one day. I am. Tell me, I don't do my research. I am. <laughs> I am. You feel definitely. me? Definitely. Shirley Strawberry about to get up out the building soon, and I'm gonna be, you know, right yeah. there. Yeah. Now this this um this young lady was so anxious to get on the show. She came two days early. <laughs> Why are you talking to my business? She no, had I'm like she was about to get the new iPhone. Boy. she was out here early than the mud. So uh, talk I about that, like nice. when you, cause it scared me. I woke up. I work midnights. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I woke up and see I had a missed call, Instagram call. I'm like, yep. what the hell happened? Yeah. So then um, I didn't even pay attention to the message. I'm like, she must have made a mistake. I look at the message and say, I'm here. I'm like, I'm here? Damn, <laughs> did I give her the wrong date? Now I'm tripping. So I, I go did. back and look. I'm like, hey, it's a 13th and it's a Friday. So what was going on? What was your night like to come to so early in John? So um, <laughs> I actually had just came from doing uh another podcast mm -hmm. and i did the morning show from 9 to uh <laughs> 11 mm -hmm. and i was like oh my god i got another one today and just having my days mixed up yeah. and i'm like let me just make sure i get there i was still on time and very sure. professional looking good and uh <laughs> so i just had my time days mixed up but yeah. that's all right it happens sometimes yep. but i actually i have i've had so much stuff going on um mm -hmm. just Honestly, this week, I really did not write my time and date on for this particular <laughs> podcast. So, yeah. it's, I'm, I'm sorry. That was funny. Yeah, you got me scared. I'm like, oh, shit. I, ain't, I, ain't, I had a day wrong. I messed up. Like, I'm going back and looking like, hold on. Man, she messed up. Oh, well, that's one thing good about me. I'm going to show up. Yeah, and you came period. back on, on the right day. And I came day, back on the right on day. Time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. But that's how it is yeah. when you come on this show. You you want to come a day or two early. You just, oh. Yeah, I can't wait to see Shy. You feel me? I can't wait to see Q and shit behind the boys. <laughs> I can't wait. So, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. You all right. No. But um, before we start everything, we start off with Salute Me While I'm Here. A lot of times we, we wait for people to pass away before we can give them their flowers. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But it can't be easy. It, it can't be, oh, my husband, or my mom and dad, or my kids. It got to be somebody outside that easy answer. Okay. And so you got somebody you want to show some love to? Somebody outside the family circle. For sure. It could be family, but it just can't be that family. Because <laughs> that's always easy. Oh, I love you. I love you, Craig. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mama, I love you. Nah. Uh, honestly, I want to... Uh... I, I, hey, can I can I'm gonna give flowers to a couple people. Go I ahead, mean, yeah. a, a bundle, a batch um, of individuals who have been thinking that they ready for something and they believe that they're not. Mm -hmm. You know, let me give the flowers and the understanding to people to understand that. Hey, whatever you want to do, and I'm talking in general. Period. Mm -hmm. Whoever you are, you want to do it. Stop allowing fear to stop you from being your better self. For sure. No, Period. Thanks. Stop allowing fear to be, you know, to stop you from getting to that next level where you're trying to go. Mm -hmm. I can't particularly put my hands on who I want to give flowers to because it's so many people out here that's moving the city, mm -hmm. that's moving the world. So, um, honestly, I think it's best to just put it out there that if you believe that you are ready and willing to take yourself to the next level, whether it's mental physical whatever i say do it with your best um with your best foot forward mm -hmm, for sure yeah that's what's up. that's dope that's dope that's dope my salute i'm gonna be to uh, a guy named thomas kennedy he played for southeastern um back i think he graduated the year after me oh four he played for mont college uh detroit mercy and he's been playing overseas for shit for years you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying he got a uh, great father great husband you know what i'm saying him and, him and his wife been doing it you know what i'm saying they even moved overseas with him 
You know what I'm saying? Okay. So he's been doing that okay. professionally for a long time, and he's been doing his thing. So I want to go ahead and show him some love, give him some flowers, and salute to you being a good father, a good husband, and a, a great ball player. Amen. I wish I was 6'4". I would have been hooping with you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> he was cold, though. He was cold, man. Shout out to Thomas Kennedy, TK. But, Amen. uh, yeah, so how how things been going for you? Like, how how, how life been for um Darnitha? Uh, Darnitha is a new mom. We saw, I, I was a mother of two and three. Mm -hmm. I just recently had a baby. So, oh, yeah. How two going months you? old. Yeah. So I have four kids now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all girls, no boys. Oh, God. I'm a girl mom. Yeah. I'm a girl mom. That's crazy. Yeah, so <laughs> life for me is really like reflecting. I mean, honestly, it's just work, mm -hmm. getting back to work. Getting back in this realm of um, with Trap Kino, mm -hmm. getting that foundation together. Um, I just recently uh, was in a deal with a building. For sure. So I had my own brick and mortar. Yeah, our Lincoln and, Park. Yep, our Lincoln Park. Yeah. So right now we in the middle of negotiating. Um, I might be walking away from that property and I haven't even got started. Mm -hmm. So I'm in the middle of just learning about the importance of contracts. And if people are not going to do what you need them to do, or if if the deal not right, don't mm -hmm. be afraid to walk away, no matter where you at in it. For sure. For sure. Period. For sure. We usually talk about the uh, the business later on, but why why did you have to walk away from the uh, from the building, if you don't mind me asking? Um, because the deal's not right, yeah, because right. people are, even though the city of Detroit and, um, you know, just within real estate. Real estate is moving at such a fast pace right now mm. with interest rates being high and everything. Slum lords are still around. No, for sure. <laughs> Slum yeah, lords sure. are still around. And then I also, I bring, I put so much work into my business. Mm. Um, I bring a certain quality and there's certain things that I want, that I require. Mm. And I'm not going to be in any place that's not going to make sure all regulations is followed. Mm. State laws. Uh, city laws. Mm -hmm. I just can't allow my business to be in the middle of a place that don't um, follow the rules because I want to be the difference and for show sure. that you can follow the rules and still make sure it work. And no, be for right. sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. We definitely gonna get into uh, Trap Kino and how that was created a little okay. bit later, a little bit later. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, this year almost over with. It is. You already said you had a brand new baby girl. Two mm -hmm. months. Besides uh, being a new mom, how, how have the year been for you? Like, what's been some ups and some downs for you? Um, Ups and downs. I mean, in the beginning, I was pregnant, you mm. know, of course. So that was just the fact of moving and staying steady while you still birthing. It no, takes nine sure. months to birth the baby. Yeah, so yeah. Um, I'm grateful to still have the energy because it's my passion. So I had to have that power and that energy to be like, it doesn't matter that I'm pregnant. It doesn't matter that I'm tired. I still got to get up and move. Mm -hmm. No, for sure. So my baby is like a sleeper now. She's like, I can finally rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, well, I had my little girl. So she, uh, she'd be three in December. Okay. She, uh, December what? De uh, December 4th, like you. <laughs> December <laughs> she's 15th. She's Sagittarius. Yep. Oh, she's so Sagittarius. Her and my son. My son, he'd be 17. He, his birthday December 13th. Sagittarius are good people. My husband is a Sagittarius. Shout out to my husband. He watching. He always Oh, yeah. Shout out to Mr. Davis. How you doing, cuz? Yes, yes. <laughs> shout out to my husband. But And then being a wife, you know, mm -hmm. also, that is a job within itself. Mm -hmm. I still got to be, you know, a wife, a loving wife. No, for sure. You do. You do. You got to balance mm -hmm. everything out because you can't be lacking on that on your wife duties. <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? <laughs> ain't no lacking because you, you got to hit the road, Jack. I ain't lacking. <laughs> yeah, nah. You got to keep that up, though. Yeah. Seriously, yeah. If you had to give this year a movie title what would it be um a movie title mm -hmm. well the podcast asks you questions like this i know this is a this is <laughs> yeah, deep this is a little different if you i know had what to mean? give this year a movie title what would it be um i have never even thought of that yeah because see every other podcast goes straight to the so how's trap kino I know. You got to break down your no, life. I, I want to know you. If I give this year a movie title, it will probably be... Um, <laughs> mm. You know what? It will probably be um, Dolomite. Dolomite. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dolomite That's you know dope. what i'm saying probably dolomite now you just having a baby your yeah. uh, your husband he, you say he watching yeah when when uh when you have kids are do people have um plan for kids or it just happen we plan y'all plan okay we planned up. our last uh child yep okay absolutely. okay yeah because i'm like it's about people, oh. people don't usually do yeah um but our daughter prior to her she's three mm -hmm. and i was like if we're going to do this, like, yeah. should we try now? And now or later. But actually, I went, we went and seen one of my good friends, 
baby at the hospital. They mm. had a baby, and I just fell in love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I looked at his little eyes. It was over. And I was just like, we can yeah. just try for a boy. Just Man. try one time. His name <laughs> Jackson. Shout out to my friend Josh yeah. and Mal. They're a beautiful. Are y'all going to try again for a boy? Or y'all, it, no, we're it's done. Over. Hey, we're hey done. Craig, Mr. Davis. <laughs> he don't want it. I don't know. He's yeah. he's like nah. Oh yeah, see, I got two boys. Then my last one was a girl, so I'm like, bet I'm good. Anything happen to me? She got two older brothers. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna take care of her. <laughs> Knock on wood, don't, nothing happen to me. But I'm just saying. Well, my children. I mean, I come from a family. My mother had nine children. Yeah. So she has more than enough cousins. My mm -hmm. brother has seven kids. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Two sets of twins. Yeah, y'all, y'all. Um, Thanksgiving so we, is is packed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why I had to know how to cook. Yeah, for sure. Y'all said you was a cook. I seen the fried chicken, the cornbread with the mac I, and cheese, <laughs> and the collard I could, greens. I could. Well, <laughs> you know, at my events, you know, how sometimes you know you have food vendors. Mm -hmm. Um, I've always big family. I'm the oldest girl. I've always had to provide, so cooking mm -hmm. that was easy. Mm -hmm. But um, if your vendors don't show up, you better be able to for sure. get something together to make sure. sure you can still rock it. What was the meal that you prepared for Mr. Davis that was like, oh, he going to stay? What's that meal? What's that going <laughs> You know what? It was the meal he prepared for me oh, that shoot. made me Craig, I mean, stay. <laughs> Craig Davis can cook, boy. It, oh, he's the cook. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like. Right, so what's the meal that kept you around there? He, yeah, he threw that on. Um, he had made like. I don't know. He had made this chicken. This is the first time we actually like sat down to eat. Mm -hmm. He had made a um, grilled chicken mm -hmm. and he made it with like a honey glaze. Oh, super professional. He's, he made um, Brussels sprouts mm -hmm. and those was also glazed as well with <laughs> like a loaded potato. But he didn't do like a regular like loaded potato. Yeah. He loaded it. Oh, like he knew, loaded he knew, he knew it what up. He knew it. He knew it. He yeah. <laughs> forget it either though yeah. that was the first time we sat and just ate yeah yeah, yeah. you you stared to his and eyes and like, boom y'all okay. yeah, married, <laughs> yeah, <I'm> married. <laughs> nah that's what's up you know what he came after me and i was like you know what nah you my friend brother mm -hmm. and um and actually he was like all right then and yeah. as soon as he stopped paying attention to me i'm like you ain't looking at me. You ain't checking for me. For sure. You know, women, we be trying to act uh, yeah. modest, but that shit is fake. Yeah, that's why my wife can't have no friends. <laughs> what? <laughs> our friends is my is my is my friends. My uncle, this is my uncle right here. That's her friend. My brother, her, her cousin. <laughs> oh, you talking about male friends? Yeah, no. Because you just say y'all was friends. And look, and look at y'all now. No, we wasn't <laughs> friends. Me and his sister were oh, friends. Oh, okay, okay. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Yeah, me and his sister was friends. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I can't date my friend's brother. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And now we married. Yeah, now y'all married. <laughs> How was that, though? Like, was your friend upset that you, you know what I'm saying, y'all start talking? She was just like, yeah, if y'all stop talking, remember, you still going to do my daughter hair, right? <laughs> sure. I'm like, dang. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I am. And nah. we never stopped. Now, the last thing I want to ask you about um, the whole mother and, and being a wife and stuff. How did that change you, like, in your way of thinking, like, having your first kid? Um, Having my first kid really changed me in the sense of uh i was more inspired to just do more i was mm. just dedicated to give my daughter uh the tools mm. and a better life that i didn't have for sure for sure yeah it, it changed me boy i was 19 20 like oh shit, this is real mm -hmm. up, until, up until i didn't know how real it was until my son came out the womb like oh shit. yeah like, yeah no yeah. yeah everything now you it ain't about you no more it's about all about them no matter no matter how your relationship goes the kids gotta come first before you know anybody but yeah. my son asked me a question. I wanted to ask you. He asked me. I don't know why. It was a random question. But um, he said, if your wife and your mom get into the car, who gets into the front seat? Who gets to the back seat? And I told him, my wife get in the front seat. I would say my mom. Over your, over your, over your. Uh, so if if your um, your dude, your dude driving, mm -hmm. you gonna let moms get in the front seat? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Now I say I would hope that she would say, mom get in the front. But if it's me, I'm gonna say, uh, you know, saying if I got the side, my wife get in the front seat, and I'm gonna no. hope that she do the right thing and say, "Mom, you get in front. I'm going to get in the back seat." Well, why would you do that? Because if anything, you should be like, oh, you know, your mom getting the front seat. You shouldn't require your mate to oh, tell no, I, your I, I, mom. Because now my mom, my wife, then took that spot. You know what I'm saying? As as the person in my life, so now you know what I'm saying that front seat is important. So if I tell her, get your ass in the back seat for my mom, I was like, Damn. You wouldn't say it like that, <laughs> I, I hope. Say, I wouldn't say it like that, but that's why I say I would hope that she would do the right thing. And be like, nah, oh, nah. You know I have saying? more respect for you saying it to your mom to get in the front seat because if anything, I'm going to be here. Mm. 
give her that space that she need. You know what I mean? Magnify her in the small ways. You know, she she deserved a front seat. No, for sure. She do deserve I deserve a back middle seat if that's the case. <laughs> like it ain't even a bit, I don't even gotta be directly behind yeah. her. Hey, mom, I'm here too. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. In the size, you yeah, know. It was, but... it was just random because we was on our way to the gym and we be having random conversations and he had told me and stuff like that. I'm like, oh yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah, nah. I don't mind getting in the back because I know my power. For sure, for sure. Heck yeah. Now, yeah. um, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times, everybody been talking about, like, you know, mental awareness and things like that. Okay, and mental health. Yeah, seeking, seeking therapy Speak. and stuff. Mm -hmm. When times get hard, who can you talk to outside of your husband and stuff? Because, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we need to talk to people that's not in the house with us. That's going to give us a, you know what I'm saying? A different opinion on things and not just, you know, somebody who see me every day and is going to give me what I need to hear. Um, Honestly, I, I talk to my uncle. Mm hmm um, I feel like it's so important to have an older person mentoring. Um, we don't really, I feel like that's the lack in a lot of people is not having either father figures mm -hmm. or not having real mentors to help guide them. Mm -hmm. Um, and then this is someone who's also married, mm -hmm. you know, who has years of experience on me that helps me definitely understand this thing called life for sure yeah and i'm a little spiritual i love the lord mm -hmm. so you know i always go to god with things and then i think about things differently because you know we i don't know we put too many expectations on other people yeah for sure yeah. was there a time in your life that you felt like you was just stuck in this messed up situation and you like damn i don't know how i'm gonna even get out of this <laughs> stuck Sometimes life gets so hard, you be like you don't even see the end of the you know what I'm saying tunnel. You don't see no light, like it's just dark. Man, uh, stuck. Yeah, sometimes yeah, sometimes you you know you gonna get out of it, but at the time it's just feel like it, it, you, you know trap, what? trap, you trap. I was, I was <laughs> trap. Seriously, yeah. it's a trap. Um, honestly, I think it was. I don't really have like moments where I felt like I was stuck. But then again, when I was younger, mm -hmm. um, you know, when you young. Uh, I mean, I'm talking about adolescence. Mm -hmm. I I was I went through a real uh, moment when I was like growing up teenage life when I was like and it was before I was really a teenager. I can remember like I'm talking about 11, 12, 13, where I was really like becoming really uh, rebellious. Mm -hmm. And I caught myself running away from home. <laughs> I ran yeah. away. And didn't have nowhere to go. I that came was... <laughs> I came back home and nobody even knew I left. <laughs> that was a quick runaway. <laughs> I was like, I was gone for hours. Y'all didn't even know I left. They like, no. Nah. I'm like, this is an ain't shit family. <laughs> like, why am I here? Why, why why did you run away if you remember? Um, I'm just because I was living with my aunt. Uh mm. my mother was addicted to drugs, so she wasn't in my home. Mm. And then I was my I didn't even understand that my aunt placed me in a position to be better. Mm. Uh, I'm from Inkster. Mm -hmm. So we was living on the good side of Inkster. I went to it, Wayne Westland School. She was giving me a better life than where my mom and where we really originally came from, mm -hmm. which was like the projects area. For sure. And um, I didn't even understand that my aunt was giving me a better life. Mm -hmm. I more so was like, I want to be with my mom. I yeah. want to live, you know, mother, father. You know, we look at these images and think that's what we're supposed to live like. Yeah. And I just wanted that for myself, mm -hmm. not understanding that she was giving me a better life. No, fast. A lot of those tools I used to today, things yeah. I learned out there. Was that your mom's decision to say, I think you should go live with my sister? Shit, when she ain't come back home. Oh, shit, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Somebody had to feed me. <laughs> How long did it take you to understand, like, that was the best thing for you? Um, It took me really a long time to really understand, like, mm. but it didn't, I think understanding, it didn't matter. Mm. I think for me, it was just, like, looking at the situation for what it was yeah. and understanding, like, don't worry. I used to tell my brothers and sisters, like, don't worry. I'm going to mm. get rich and take care of all of us. For sure. So you don't got to worry. I didn't know how. Yeah, but you was going to get rich. I didn't know what I was going to do, but my work ethic, I've always yeah. just been determined to be better than yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. I can. Yeah, you was from. out there in Insta. You went to uh, Robichard High School. I did. Class mm -hmm. of 09. Woo, woo. That's what I say. Like, she came on, people, she came on this show. I all shows and said, do you know who I am? And I'm like, damn, that's disrespect. I know all about you. Before you even came in and sat down, I, I knew who you it. was. You know what I'm saying? Well, thank you, Shy. <laughs> thank you, Shy. Shout out to Shy. He knows who I am. He did his research. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate yes, that. Yes, I'm Tell a bulldog. 
For all sure. day. That's why my color's still red. She was a cheerleader. Black and white. I am. I was a cheerleader. Yeah, so come on now. Come on. Cheerleading please. captain. Yeah. Track yeah. <laughs> captain. Yeah, we, we, we got it in out there. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. What's something that you feel like you need to work on to this day that might be holding you back from just thriving? <sighs> something I need to work on? Mm-hmm. With nothing? You just got it all, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't know? No, I'm just I'll say, I don't know that one. That's Something I need to work on that'll help me mm -hmm. probably will be... I don't know. Mm, a little bit of my bit, some things in my business. Mm, still learning and stuff like that? I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. I'm still learning. And I'm also using other avenues to try to help fund uh, my main objectives. So mm. I have so many things in one mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah. Know, advertisement For sure. man social yeah. media if i can get social media all the way down pat oh you never gonna do that i, yeah. I promise you man. i feel like i can grow i can go i can fly yeah me and, like, me and my producer talked with something about that last week about just like trying to get more eyes on on what we got going on you know what I'm saying it's hard because social media is tricky you don't know how to use it. you gotta know what time to post when to post how to post your target yeah. audience, you got to know all that stuff. And then there's a lot of things that will help you do that. But honestly, I think right now my goal is to not be lazy. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, I want to read the books. I want to know how to do A, B, and C. Like, I don't want to use AI for everything. I feel like <laughs> once you start using a mm -hmm. lot of these tools to do the things that, yeah, kind of you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it do handicap you. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure, so, for sure. So, I just am trying to like... yeah. Learn as I go. No, it's hard. You, that's what. It, hey, it's, it's no right way to go about things. It's just trial and error. Yeah. You know yep. what I'm saying? Now, what's your day to day life away from being a mom, away from being a, a wife? Like, because a lot of times we do. What need, is there? How is there a day away? You need sometimes. <laughs> you need time away from so that. So how do I relax? To yeah, to be a better, to be a better version of yourself. Like I feel like with me coaching and doing this podcast, away being away. That's my. You know what I'm saying? That's my. That's my therapy. That's that's the way I'm better because if I'm always being dad, if I'm always being a husband, you gonna get tired of it. You need time to yourself to be able to appreciate being a mom, me, a, a mom or a wife or a husband or a father. I agree. So what do you do like to make sure like you still stay Darnitha? You just you know what I'm saying? Still got time for yourself. You know what? Honestly, when I do stuff like this, mm -hmm. when I get out. Um, I make appearances, I go to uh, different comedy shows to meet. When I'm in my realm of work, mm -hmm. like, I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. I love um, going out, meeting new people, anybody that I can meet mm -hmm. to give a card, to give my name. Like, sure. I'm in my realm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you you need that time. You got to get out the house. I yeah. learned that time. You got to leave the house. Because if you don't, you gonna go crazy and start well, resenting when you're everybody. you're an entrepreneur, it's it's very you know it's it's timely. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like one of those things. Like when I'm in the house, I'm in the house. When I'm with my husband, I'm with him. You mm -hmm. know, but a lot of the things like that I'm learning too is that I can make work. Mm -hmm. You know, just as great of the time of me spending with my husband. A lot of the stuff that I do, me and him do together. Mm -hmm. We go to different appearances. We go. To different shows together so that's something that i can always that's our personal time mm -hmm. away from the kids so, oh you need but. you definitely need to get away from the little kids <laughs> they got you crazy <laughs> uh, <laughs> for real they i love you my little crazy. baby i mean i love them too i love but. my little baby <laughs> sometimes you get home like god oh, damn yeah yeah <laughs> i supposed to have a little man cave and that became a man and me cave like <laughs> yeah <laughs> the kids out there like oh yeah when I'm around my daughters, though, I definitely be. It's, it's yeah. time consuming. And then I, right now I'm nursing, you know, so mm -hmm. it's like my baby is like, she only wants to be on me. Like, mm -hmm. she don't even care about her dad right now. <laughs> yeah, for sure. She's like, who that nigga? Yeah, for sure. You got the milk. You got the work. <laughs> yeah, the milk lady's back. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Now, um, what's the, with you, 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 entrepreneur, uh, and this ain't got to be with that. It could be with life. What's the worst advice and best advice you ain't received so far? With life, with being a businesswoman? whatever the worst advice that i ever worst and best the worst advice and the best advice let mm -hmm. me see the worst advice i ever received was um somebody telling me you know not to not to do my teenage teen kino mm -hmm. my teenage event mm -hmm. not to go down that realm mm -hmm. um that was the worst advice to me okay now what's that best advice that you like oh shit i, 
I love you for that. The best advice? The best advice for me was probably um, somebody telling me, like, as far as personally it or personally, just whatever. anything. Yep. The best, the best advice I had was to basically just stay humble. Mm -hmm. Don't, no matter what go on, what happen, don't stop. For sure, for sure. You can't no stop. matter what happen, don't yeah. stop. Yeah, some, hey, sometimes it, 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 sometimes it's hard to keep going. So it's been time I wanted to quit this podcast. Like you know what, I ain't getting the guests that I want. I quit. Really? But I kept going though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see. I yeah. see. I'm here. 175 yo, episodes yo, later. Yo, yo, yo best day is today. No, for what sure. You <laughs> what you thought? Hell this yeah. was like your dream just came true. <laughs> for sure. I don't know what you tripping about. No. Now yeah. outside of your kids and outside of death, when's the last time you cried? What was the reason? Because you always gonna cry about them kids. I'm quite sure you in your emotional bed right now, like with the kids. And I stuff. cried um about what's today? <laughs> <laughs> What's today? The 10, 10, 12? So 13? Uh, 13, yeah, day. Friday 13th. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is Friday. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm going to see a movie premiere, premiere tonight, Friday. Oh, so Friday. you might be going the same place? Um, he going. Movie premiere what? The Bel Air? Mm-hmm. Oh, y'all going to be the same spot then? Yeah, we going to be there together. Yeah, for uh, for uh, Coke. Coke. Uh... <sighs> yeah, Coke. Shout out to Coke. Can you see right down the street? Shout out to Coke. Yeah, yeah Go yeah. knock on his door. We're supposed <laughs> to be doing some business together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. But yeah, the last time I cried, honestly, um was the 28th of last month mm -hmm. and that's when i realized i was in a bad deal okay okay that, and that was the whole thing with your with, your with building? my building mm -hmm. yeah sometimes you know what like <laughs> i thought that was the one of the best things and it was the mm -hmm. best thing that happened to me at that moment like i finally have my own building this is not this is a bar it mm -hmm. was a bar and um i met every criteria to turn it to what I needed it for mm -hmm. and I mean everything that I asked God for it was in it was there. right there yeah, yeah. and uh basically like my deal just basically show either I didn't read a line or I didn't comprehend something mm -hmm. but uh the contract is definitely at like we bumping heads right now mm -hmm. so that was the last time I cried and I think it was a cry of just being disappointed for sure but it, it didn't stop me, though. Crying don't never stop. Crying, you either going, when you feel pressure mm -hmm. or when the heat is on you, you either going to get hard or you going to melt. Yeah, for sure. No, Period. Yeah. Like, yep. I, so it wasn't a big deal that I was crying. I was crying because I was angry. And mm -hmm. you know, I'm a woman. We get emotional. No, for sure. For sure. I'm like, what the, so what's going on? For the, I can't believe this. For the next time, for the next building you get, are you going to like have somebody else maybe look over the contract or, you know? Yeah, I have a different, I have another lawyer now that um, is going to be doing a lot of my work. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, and I, and I push that. That's something that we don't, and maybe that's why we not reading mm -hmm. enough. You know what I mean? <laughs> Comprehension is real. For I sure. mean, it is. So besides us looking over to have an understanding, it's never nothing wrong with taking a couple extra dollars and maybe a couple hundred mm -hmm. and just having somebody go over it. Yeah, well, I'm glad you peeped it before it got too deep into the whole little situation. It would have been worse than what it was. So much money wasted. Yeah, for But sure. it's not never wasted. It's a learning. Yeah, you know, you got to pay yeah. either way. Are you an ugly crier? Am I an ugly woman? <laughs> no, no, you got ugly woman. You could be a pretty woman, fine man. I ain't never seen a pretty woman cry ugly. <laughs> Shit, I have. You have? <laughs> <laughs> Just because you fine, I mean, you can't cry ugly. <laughs> you know, some people know how I cry. Like, like God damn. Ain't no, ain't no cute crying. Like, that's, that's like be saying a, sadness is it's pretty. It could be you, as, gotta, that, you can be sad as you want to be, but you a real beautiful person. It could like, be a set of cry, like the little, you know, cry where you like, no facial. Uh, 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 yeah, it could be, that, yeah, see, it could be that, I'm that crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I do all my crying in the shower, though, but you know what I'm saying? I copy off this nigga. Just, you know. Wait, I, you cry in the shower? Sometimes I have. Hell yeah, sometimes. Mm. I mean, my wife didn't call me crying a little bit. Like, God damn. Anyway, like sometimes if I watch something on I'm TV. I'm a silent crier, though, more than anything. Like, tears me too, just yeah. fall down, and I'm just figuring out what to say because I really have to, you know. That really goes with controlling your emotions, because mm -hmm. I, I may say the wrong thing, so yeah, I have sure. to control myself. I don't yeah. want to. Yeah, you. Oh, so you are you one of those? Like when you hurt, you want to just hurt that person? Like I'm gonna hurt your ass. No, you if I'm me. hurt, I'm just gonna you know 
No, I'm 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 good. Yeah. I believe in revenge because God gonna get you back. For sure. Way better than I am. And yeah. I ain't got time for that. I'm yeah. I'm over here planning on what's next. Leave it on the Lord. Leave it on the Lord. It hurts you. <laughs> <laughs> Leave, it, Leave it to the big man. No, for sure. Have um prior to you being married, because no disrespect to Mr. Uh, Craig Davis. <laughs> Shut but, uh, up. <laughs> remember that singer, Craig Davis? Craig. <laughs> but um no. have anybody ever cried to keep you from leaving? Or vice versa? I cried to keep somebody else from leaving. Damn. I was like, why well, you don't want me? <laughs> he just like, fuck it, I'm gone. <laughs> Shit, I was young, not yeah. even understanding my power. Yeah. I look back like, what was I thinking? Heck yeah, because it hurt when you cry. And it, you know, your fake cry don't even work. Now you looking yeah. dumb as hell, fake crying and shit. Hey, let me tell you something. <laughs> he was looking dumb when he seen me on the billboard. Mm -hmm. That's how that go. Like, dang, like, I should have stayed with her. Heck yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm a, he going to have that moment, like on the, uh, I don't know if you ever seen Temptations, when they was looking hell at them yeah. when... Wait, what's he looking at them through the window? <laughs> you ain't shit without me. He like <laughs> that was my shit, dog. <laughs> this podcast game ain't shit without me. That's hey, it's your show. <laughs> for sure, for sure. If you had to uh, tell somebody about yourself only using a song or an album, what would that song or album be? You're not talking. You just press and play, and that song or album gonna talk about or tell about Darnita Davis. Like, damn, that's me. A song or an album that's gonna talk that's gonna tell me about you without you even saying a word. Mm. Sideline story, okay. J. Cole for sure. For sure. And speaking of, you know, what I'm saying I do a little thing where, um, you know, cause I usually do it a little bit later than uh, than this, but you you mentioned it, so it's only right that we do it. That's because that's my that's my song, yeah. Now, I love that J. Cole back then. Sideline story, I like him better now. That was like I like him better now too. Yeah, that was I do. That was his worst album to me. Oh my god, are you crazy? No, I'm not. I know. I, it's just certain <laughs> songs on that album yeah. that I just particularly love because I love the beginning stages with like certain artists. Like mm -hmm. it's a certain hunger there that you can't pick up after fame. For sure, for sure. Now I take some tracks off of an album mm -hmm. and we create a story from it. Okay. You feel me? So uh, the first one I'm gonna do is in the morning. That's 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 track number nine. Yeah. How 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 is your mornings? Like what is your 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 morning life like? Like what what's going on in the morning for you? I wake up at five in the morning mm. every day. Mm. Um besides feeding my baby. Mm. I have the first thing I have to do is get up, shower, get mm. myself together. For sure. Um, because if I don't, it probably is gonna take a while before I can do it. Because okay. I'm so hands on with everything else. Mm-hmm. Um, I scan through social media. That's usually when I do my work. I usually work, if I'm not working at like 2 a.m., I usually work from like 12 to 2 a.m. on social media. Mm. And then if I get up early in the morning, like 5 in the morning, I'll work from like 5 to 6. Okay. So, yeah. Mm. Breakfast. Um, some days I make my husband breakfast before he go to work. Mm. Pancakes. Not waffles. every day. Pancakes, waffles, or French toast. Which one's the best? What's, what's the best? Pancakes. Okay. Crispy ends. Yeah, you got to have it. Yeah, hell yeah. got to be a little crispy. <laughs> hell yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, so um, I used to go work out early in the morning. I was a workout fanatic. Yeah. Now that I'm just getting back to get myself, back. Mm -hmm. um, besides straightening up, cleaning up, and then in the mornings, I also call like different senior homes mm -hmm. because a part of Trap Kino, I also go to senior homes. Mm -hmm. So I have to call and try to get those contracts. If I don't call... I'm not going to get it. No, for sure. For sure. All right. Never told. What's something that you never told anybody on the, on the, you, you build a lot of podcasts. What's something that you never revealed or told anyone that you can say on camera? Something I never told mm -hmm. anyone about myself. About yeah. Anyone. It could be embarrassing stories, anything. Something I never said on podcasts mm -hmm. is that. Real premiere. <laughs> exclusive it's exclusive <laughs> world premiere something i never said on podcast mm -hmm. so i've said so many something you never something you never revealed some some embarrassing embarrassing this something you should have asked me yesterday <laughs> um i never revealed that um the first person i asked to do trap kino with me was um, 
a Detroit comedian. Okay, okay. <laughs> so you want to be like a partner with him? Like... And he told me um, to do my show. He told me a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Of course. And I was like, Damn. I can't afford that, mm -hmm. you know. And then I was like, I can't believe he would ask yeah. me for that much money. Damn. Damn. And then um, I end up finding Ugly Jason. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so this, this person was this somebody you like? Like, man, he making you really like you really feeling them and stuff and just like that. You really want to work was, with him? This was Jay Will. Okay, okay, shit, okay. Damn, I was laughing. It was Jay Will. <laughs> it was Jay Will. I I love Jay Will. He's something different. And um, when he finally did my show, he ripped my show mm -hmm. to pieces. Like so, he so, probably, so he actually did it eventually. Okay, okay. Now did that money come down like a little bit like? I had to ask him to bring it down, but okay. he did. Okay, okay. He looked out for me, brought it down. So I got to ask. How much he asked for? <laughs> I'm not telling y'all. <laughs> uh, but he camera. was worth it. Yeah. What he sure. asked for, he was worth it. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not even going to front. Mm -hmm. Because when he ripped my show, I'm like, damn, let me scrape up something else. Some more? <laughs> to give him more than what he for finally sure. said. I got you. You yeah. know? So, shout out to Jay Wood. Do you feel like when you're on the come up? that somebody who's already kind of like recognized should show love to those ones and come up and not try to like text them or go overboard because you know i feel like if i'm somebody that's known in the city outside of detroit outside michigan fuck them you know what i'm saying mm. but my city i feel like if you want to come up we can negotiate we can go ahead we can talk we can talk i'm not gonna go ahead and try to just go crazy on you how do you feel about that do you feel like he was right for charging you that crazy price at first Cause you said you understood that he went crazy. You know on what? It. The funny part about it is, I just didn't know. I didn't do my research. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how much work he has been doing. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what his shows looked like in the beginning, cause it was something new for me. If anything, I just needed a comedian, and yeah, for sure. people was just talking about him and things of that sort. So that's why it worked for me. To, it was nothing for me to ask, mm -hmm. but. Once he said the price, I was like, you know what? That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> no, for sure. But the funny part about it is God makes everything happen for a reason because yeah. Ugly Jason, and I don't know if you're familiar with Ugly Jason. He's a comedian mm -hmm. also in Detroit. He came out and he taught me things that Jay Will couldn't teach me. Mm -hmm. So it worked out. And he it, still it got. Out. And he still got... Jay Will at the end of the day. And I and I got him another day. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what, that was <laughs> but good story. I do feel like within um the city of Detroit, and I'm not and this we only can speak for Detroit because we here, but I do feel like sometimes it'd be a place where a lot of people don't wanna always pull someone up or they don't wanna be humble and do a show here and there, but we don't know their stories. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's Facts. easy for us to say, you don't wanna help us in Detroit. You don't wanna help pull your own people up. But, but really we don't really know what they going through. Oh uh, yeah. So that's, right. that's, that's true. why it's really best to just kind of take anything, any losses or gains is what they are. Mm. And then I see you later. Mm. Yeah. Because sure. I, I got I have gotten pissed off about that before. Yeah. Not understanding at the time that Dang, I don't even know what. Yeah, yeah. What bills he got, anything. Yeah, yeah you that's know, true. Sure, there's people out here that's really, they do comedy and it's not a lot of paid mm -hmm. uh, shows. Yeah. So that's why I'm the one that is. Yeah, when you look at it like that, I, I can understand a little bit. I can yeah, understand. Yeah. See, the dope story, I'm telling you, this This is, I like doing this, man. You feel me? It's, they going to steal it to you. I know y'all going to steal it. They gonna steal it. They gonna steal it. You know, put saying? it behind. Just say yeah. you know it came from me. Yeah, you know, no, know ain't nobody yeah. doing what I'm doing, but whatever. <laughs> no, track number three. Can't get enough. What's something that you can't get enough of? Mm, my husband. Oh yeah, that's all a little freaky. <laughs> all right, uh, outside of that freakiness. <laughs> nah, for real, for real. Uh, another thing I can't get enough of is just man, this. I mm. I love this. I love connecting with our people. Mm. And I love money, so uh, <laughs> I, I want some more of that. <laughs> yeah. Now you 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 already said you can't get enough of your husband. How important is it to have a active sexual life when you are in a relationship? Because some people get lazy, men and women. Is it getting lazy? I I mean, or some, sometimes you're too busy. But how important is it to show that affection towards each other, not to forget? It's, like it is important. Mm -hmm. You know what? Because it's gonna be a moment where you need that. You know and. And women, we the ones. We the mm. ones that really kind of can drive y'all to really just 
We'll being crazy. the best. <laughs> yeah. we, we can make a man the best. Yeah. All you got to do is That's tell him, fast. baby, you the best. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you go, yeah, you You know, <laughs> hey, yeah. baby, you got this. I ain't worried about anything. Yeah. You got this. Don't worry about that. You know, yeah. inspiration, it just it sure. drives you to the next level. Yeah, you say I'm the best too many times. Oh, let's go. We in the, back. We in the room. <laughs> <laughs> let's get it. You know what I'm saying? But being intimate is important. Shoot, no, sure. I need a hug sometime. Let, hold me tight. Let me and, know it's going to be all right. And that's true because, you know, I'm not I'm not the most affectionate person. So sometimes I got to do that because I'll be like, oh, what up? You know, how you doing? Believe <laughs> you know it or not, I'm not either. For real? Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, I'll be having to work on my uh, affection. You know what I'm saying? We don't have to write slow songs yeah. no more, so yeah. it's kind of hard to. No, for sure. I, I hate being affectionate in front of people. That's kind of like, I don't like that. I don't mm. like watching people be affectionate around me. They make you uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. They do a little bit. Like That's somebody. That's something that they probably they don't know. I hate watching people kiss and all. Like, yeah, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Going wrong with that shit, girl. Kiss me. Yeah, that's funny, though. I don't mind kissing in front of nobody, but I'm not going to be like for a long time. Yeah. That's too much. That's the one thing me, about when you, when you but... stay in an apartment building, that's the one thing. When you stay in an apartment building and you hear people getting it on, and they going a little too long, you're like, damn. <laughs> when you get to me, I got, I got mad this energy. Like, <laughs> I ain't never thought about that before. What? I just want to put that out there. I've never thought about that before, Man, but okay. I don't know what drugs these niggas on. It was like hour and a half, two hours. Like, God damn. <laughs> they got... turned the TV on after that. Man, it was that much. I looked at my wife like, they still going. And okay, I'm mad when I go do it because it stopped, dog. You put, you put too much pressure on me right now, bro. <laughs> My wife knows what, she, what I'm talking about too. Cause we was down Why there you like, can't be like the people next door? Exactly. Like <laughs> he, that nigga went crazy, man. He probably drunk on some E and J. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that joke. That joke was funny. I don't know what, cause we heard him, you know, before, but not like this time. This time they went crazy. That's funny. I don't know if it was. I cheated. I'm glad I, I haven't lived in an apartment in some years. So for real, yes. I mean, I I don't miss it. Only thing I miss about it is not having to shovel snow and cut grass. But you don't like to shovel snow and cut grass. Cut grass is therapeutic, but. Out of all of them, I probably like it. Yeah, Couldn't grab probably the easiest. Shovel snow, you know, goddamn, you would die. Shovel snow. <laughs> <That shit. laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, let that shit sit too long and be wet though. I'd be like, God damn. Yeah. That's why I get my son to do that shit. Like I like cutting grass by myself though. Nobody's perfect. What's something about you you feel like, like your imperfection about yourself? Like something that you like you might be a sh- no. Nah, I don't say ashamed of, but you don't like about yourself. Mm, nobody's perfect, babe. Yeah, Missy went crazy on that she shit. She did. Damn, I love Missy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you're perfect, mommy. That one was like the same. Shoot, I be I make sure that be known that I'm not perfect because mm-hmm. I'm not. But um, sometimes I think I know it all. Or I, I mean, I be so I get so passionate about this. I mm-hmm. get passionate about business. I get passionate about my vision. So I feel like, in a sense, sometimes I don't like to go against it. Mm-hmm. So that's just like right now. So I have another a redesign going on for my Trap Kino box for mm-hmm. the board game. And I told them for the redesign, take me off the front mm-hmm. because I don't know if I just, it really comes down to, I don't know if I've done either enough promotion mm-hmm. on promoting this one black owned board game mm-hmm. that is a mixture of comedy and hip hop. I don't sure. know if I haven't done a lot as far as on the promotion end of getting it out there, or is it the fact that my face is on it deters people from mm-hmm. wanting to go that route? And the only reason I put my face on it is because I actually do this live event. For real, yeah. It's so you. I, I, I wanted to build that connection, mm-hmm. but now we working on numbers. So I'm trying to see, well, I sell more this way mm-hmm. rather than that way. Okay. Um, But it, it's, I really was like, no, I ain't taking my face off. Yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah. you know, and, and so many people like, just take your face off, you'll sell more. I'm like, yeah. damn. Damn, yeah. It's like- you know what I mean? <laughs> like, am I like ugly or something? Or what is it? And then they just like, people just don't like to buy stuff with other people. I'm like, yeah. well, what, how did, how many people sell albums like that? Like, yeah. come on now. They like, because. Mm-hmm. Of who they are, I'm yeah. like, so because I'm nobody, because <laughs> I'm nothing, I'm Man. trash. Wasn't back in the day, and correct me if I'm wrong, Q, didn't like singers back in the day, like they didn't put their face yeah, on, yeah, because of them being black, because of them being, and yeah. that's why I was like, Well, is it the stigmatism? And that's why you have to get disruptive in your thinking. Mm-hmm. Because I'm like, Maybe it's just the fact that people, and it, it seemed like 
I get more negative. I mean, I'm not going to call it negative. I get more of that response from men. Mm -hmm. They're like, take your face off. It'll be fine. I'm like, damn. Am I, am I attracted to you? <laughs> like, what is it? Do, do you, you think that, that would hurt when you're trying to like cross over to the white buyer? Like, you have and your that's face what the first know. thing they say. And I'm like, it's too many black people out here. I don't care about the white buyer. Yeah. And, and my white friends bought it. Yeah. <laughs> My white friends bought my game before some of my family members. Yeah. Oh, shit. Come on now. That's a whole different. That's a, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Yeah. You know, or just peers in particular. Like, could that be the case, mm -hmm. you know, of people mentality believing that, oh, I have to be able to suit these type of people. Mm -hmm. It's not about that for me. For sure. Yeah. For sure. And that's one thing that is real. Hey, I'm not perfect, but that's one thing that about me, you just mm -hmm. gonna know. I want the, who, Everybody may not be for me and I'm okay no, with No, for that. sure. That's a fact. I wonder who was the first person to put their face on the album cover who broke that barrier. Like, fuck it. I'm putting my face on this shit. You gotta know it's me. Because uh, I think that was with um, who, my man who had died. Um, why do fools fall in love? A lot of people. Frankie, Frankie Lyman. Lyman. I think that he was like another one of those guys. Like, I don't, they didn't know he was black until he actually did um, um, one of the sh uh, shows back in the day. And if you look in the, on YouTube and look in the crowd, the white people looking like this nigger. Like, the song, the song. Can't yeah. believe it. Like, it's, it's, it's a black person. Yeah, yeah. That happens. That happens. But, I mean, I'm grateful, though. Like, I mean, I don't know. Who knows? I might not. You know, you the boss, you can yeah. call the shot at the end. Don't no, even, sure. don't even day, print it like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it just depends. Yeah, my, my the thing about, I hate about, I always hate about myself. I don't hate it. I grew, you know, I grew to be like, all right, cool. I always hate my nose. I feel really? like, 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 I always feel like I had that I Michael Jackson like nose. Got, we got the same kind of nose. No, nah, your nose is like, that's what kind of nose I want. <laughs> This is triangle. <laughs> I just get roasted. Like, I think you got a big nose. Like, damn, as a little seven year old. Well, I, I was gapped. I yeah. had a big gap in mm. my teeth mm. growing up all through high school. Once I, you know, yeah. start working, I paid to close it. For sure. Yeah, because those roasting sessions back in the day when you young, that shit you hurt. Gotta have <laughs> you gotta have thick skin. You gotta have, you gotta know how to come back. You gotta go to school perfect. Or your jokes gotta be funny enough to be like, oh, don't talk about him. Yeah. So I start getting to my comedy bed like, I'm gonna roast your ass, boy. Yeah, I ain't had them. Yeah. Come, <laughs> come for me if you want to. Yeah. The last one, speaking of high school, Dollar in the Dream. What would, you was broke mm. in high school. You had no money. Of course, you're like, I mean, <laughs> I wasn't never broke in high school. I did hair. All right, well, all right, well, the typical <laughs> high school person is I broke. Bought, I paid for my own uh, prom dress. Eleventh oh, grade up? year. Yeah. Damn, I wish I wish I had paid for my own son mom prom dress. That shit was expensive. <laughs> but uh, dollar in the dream, mm. high school. Like, what was your what was your 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 dream? Like back then, like you know, what I'm saying on the come up, what's something that you looked like? I want to you know do this with my life. When I was in high school, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. When I was that young, in my teenage years, I really didn't know who I wanted to be, what I wanted to do. And when it was time for graduation, I wanted to go to, um, I wanted to run track down south. But when it came down to actually graduating, I really didn't have nothing to say as far as where I was going to college or what I was doing because I didn't have that guidance to get me prepared for the next level. Mm -hmm. So I was like, just right on there, I'm going to the Navy. <laughs> and when I came out of graduation, after everybody go crazy and we take pictures, people are like, you don't have to go to the Navy. I'm going to give you some information. I'm mm -hmm. like, damn, I, I was just putting it <laughs> yeah, down. You know, so, I yeah. really didn't know what I wanted to do. Yeah. But it wasn't until um, probably about... I was probably about 26 mm -hmm. um, is when I was like, I seen a skit of some more mm -hmm. and I was like, I want to do comedy mm -hmm. or get into comedy sure, in yeah, that yeah. realm. Yep. So, yeah. Yes, Once I, I started working at the casino, I, I was able to work with so many people and I just will always be having them cracking up. And I was like, I can do this shit. How hard was it working and handling all that money and seeing all that money? Because that shit would have been, <laughs> I couldn't do that. It wasn't hard. <laughs> it ain't mine. I don't care. I can count money all day. Shit. The, yeah. part, the hardest part is you count somebody else's money. What's your, yeah. It's bold. It's sad. Yeah, give me, what I'm counting him? a million, two million, three million dollars every day yeah. for somebody else. Yeah, I'm crying. That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I'm crying. I'm crying sad. every day. I'm like, damn, this hurt. This hurt. What's a, a funny casino story? Like, what, what, which casino you work for? Motor City. Motor City, okay, okay. Shout out to everybody at Motor City. You know they about to go on strike. For real? Oh, shit, everybody's yeah. striking. Yeah, they consider going <laughs> on strike. Everybody trying to get that bread. I need, you know what I'm saying? They get money at the casino. Yeah, what's a funny casino story you might have seen? Um, been a part of? Or? 
I've always been a part of some stories. Yeah. Sad to say. <laughs> no, I don't know. I can't tell you what now what happened in the casino. That's stay in the, the casino. casino. Yeah. It's like that's what that's you like, might read it in my book. Okay. Are you gonna are you gonna write I know you say you went to you know, reading and stuff like that. You you gonna write you a book? I'm considering writing I'm right now I'm writing my um autobiography. Mm. Yeah, I'm just trying to write down, jot down every day because I've been having so many. Trap Kino knew mm. it's different, mm. so it's 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 something that's never been done. So I might as well, since I'm fine, somebody I'm doing something that's never been done, mm. and there's no exact playlist. Like I can't go on YouTube and look up how to create a casino <laughs> or, or how to create a Kino Bingo event mm -hmm. with comedian. I can't look yeah, that you, shit up. You, you gonna be a person they gonna be looking too. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm so I'm writing down, you know, my do's and don'ts and my ins and outs and things now, I've experienced. Before we, the last question I want to ask you before we get into uh, Trap Kino is, uh, you had spoke uh, briefly about staying with your uh, with your aunt and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like talk about like just growing up and like was your father around? No. Okay. This is like how, how was that? Like you know what I'm saying. You you touched on it a little bit, but you know what I'm saying, go a little deeper a little bit. Like like was it did you well, ever think my aunt, um well living with my aunt, this was my mother's only sister. Mm -hmm. And um I was the oldest of at the time five. <clears throat> it was five of us. And mm -hmm. then eventually one four more came. <laughs> yeah, for sure, yeah. <laughs> but um I was the oldest girl, so by the eighth grade, seventh, eighth grade, eighth grade, my, our house burnt up. I was living with my aunt. My aunt was addicted to the casino. Okay. Funny part is she actually used to go to Motor City. Mm -hmm. Like that was her spot yeah, that she sure. would win. She was a poker player. So I do not play poker. Okay. And, and um, she was addicted, like real life addicted to the casino. Mm -hmm. And um, when our house burnt up, I couldn't even get in touch with her mm -hmm. because she was in the casino. In the casino. In the, uh... So, um... She'll say she, after everything happened, she didn't find out till the next day. Damn. She was yeah. in there. Yeah. Eighth grade, I had to get all my siblings out. And um, the funny part about it is, you know, I had all of this aggression against her and just like, no, I shouldn't have been here. And mm -hmm. I'm like somebody's mom. And it's like, it wasn't even her responsibility to take care of us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Sometimes we redirect our anger to somebody else who really... I have a whole mother. Yeah, I had sure. <laughs> a whole mother at yeah. the time. So um, it was it was different growing up. And then I had to go through the culture shock of now the life that I was complaining about mm. that my aunt gave me living um, on what was considered the good side of Inkster, mm. closer to Dearborn Heights. Yeah. Um, we ended up having to move into one of my aunt's rental properties because she had property. Okay. We end up moving into one of her properties on the other side of Inkster. Then I experienced a culture shock. Yeah. Because now I got to go to Robichaud, mm -hmm. not John Glenn. Now I got to experience all of the people I grew up with. Mm -hmm. But I got out the ghetto. Yeah. Now I'm coming back to the ghetto. Okay. You know what I'm yeah. saying? The hood, what they consider that. <laughs> and um, so it was a, a, a different, totally different from anything that I give my family now. Like, they, sure. they'll they never understand. Is, is, is that, was that motivation, like, with you not staying with your mom, you not knowing your father, like, to be, like, the, the best parent that you could be? Um, I think it was motivation just to to be better mm. than them. Um, It wasn't until I was, I got older and I started really, when I was going through high school, I started appreciating my aunt, even within her addiction. Mm -hmm. um, because it was just like, that's kind of like, we're still surviving. Yeah, sure, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Like, even though we was living off like pancakes, you know, mm -hmm. down there a summer or whatever, we was still surviving. And it just kind of made me more appreciative to understand that somebody, you know, always going to have to pay the way. So mm -hmm. I just get it that I got to work harder now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So now, Have you ever met your father? Yeah, like, I know my 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 father. Um, he was in prison, mm -hmm. you know, just for being a a, a drug dealer mm -hmm. and um an angster. So I mm -hmm. met him. He had to do fourteen, fifteen years, mm -hmm. and um, he knew. I knew who he was. For sure, for sure. For sure. <laughs> I have a lot of siblings. I have yeah. like 14 siblings on my father's side. Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's busy. <laughs> Five of us is born within the same year. Oh, shit. He was my scared. sister and me and one of my sisters are actually six days apart. Damn. That's yeah. It. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, and your mom, she's, she's around? No, she's deceased okay, now. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. But yeah, I sorry, forgave. Hey, I, I, I'm so grateful to yeah. have been able to understand learning from... Yeah. Situations yeah. not being stuck in. It was cool that you was able to understand and you know saying really realize what was going on and 
you know, and then living with your auntie probably was the best thing for you. It was. I, if I didn't live with her, I wouldn't have learned how to be a boss. Mm -hmm. My aunt, cared, she's, she only had one child. She mm -hmm. had one son, and she took care of all my mother's children. Yeah, that's big on her. Yeah, yeah so sure. she, I mean, she know, even though within her addiction, that didn't stop her from still making sure we had what we needed to move forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, it gave and she shit was, real, too. And then, like, <laughs> Even on another end, she uh, had like, um, like my family had like mental disability home. Mm. So she was like in corporate America. So you think somebody <clears throat> gambling and then they go to work the next morning and they have to oversee all of these mental homes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Not just one. She had like to oversee like six or seven. Mm. So um, she taught me how to be a boss. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I mean, my mom worked for uh, one. It was called Hunter Homes. Oh, okay. Hunter Homes. Yeah, it was on Grand Boulevard. Yeah, she worked for this company called Rainbow. Okay, 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 yeah, okay. Yeah, but I'll never forget it. That's what's up. Good little story. You got a nice little story about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm somebody. Yeah. No. <laughs> now, um, get to you. You know what I'm saying? With Trap Kino. Trap Kino. You know what I'm saying? I know you was inspired by working in the casino. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To start this. like, So, uh, was that the end all be all? Like, you was in the casino and you wanted to, you know what I'm saying, start something of your own? The I was like, I'm just, I just want to do something else. Mm -hmm. I was like, I want to start something else. Like, we don't have to just always come to the casino and make these people rich. Like, I wanted to create something that would be not as expensive as the casino. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to be able to save some lives. I'm tired of us getting addicted. I'm tired of people. And at first it was a black thing. Mm -hmm. But, like, my white friends are so into my life now. It's like, <laughs> it's for everyone, yeah, you for know? Sure. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's for everybody. For sure. M money has no color, you know? But... Yeah, Not so it just was like I was just tired of people just going there and giving mm. all of their money and their lives and their time. And then a place like that, you get lost in time. Mm -hmm. So let's do a timed event where you can come. And people love bingo. For sure. No, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Kino, bingo. And Kino is really a, was more so a black thing, mm -hmm. you know, from back in the day. We played Kino. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to bring all of those things back. Was it always just like the king? It was always Kino? Like, well, uh, that's the, you know, first idea was Kino. Was it yep. something else? It never was any. It was Kino. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Was you playing bingo back in the day? No. Okay. <laughs> no. I, see, I remember playing bingo in school and then they always lose, though. <laughs> I never won. I never won a good prize. No, I actually, um, me and my my husband family, they played Pokino mm -hmm. for dollars. Okay, okay. And I came there one night and we played Pokino for dollars, and this was like right before the pandemic, mm -hmm. and it was just so lit. Mm -hmm. They like three in a row. That's yeah, a dollar pot, for and sure. then each board is a dollar, so basically like two dollars. Yeah. And um, every we just enjoyed it. So mm -hmm. do you uh do you feel like this is something that's needed as far as like some different go on a date have fun because you know a lot of times yeah. we don't have too much you know saying to do in the city or we just don't know because there's a lot of things out there you know what I'm saying but is this something that would be uh, important for okay i'm gonna take my girl i'm gonna take my man too and we're gonna have a good time this is something that um i feel like it wasn't biased mm. on just like a girl thing like mm. i feel like even with pain with a twist is like a girl thing you mm. know what i mean or a guy thing you know dudes ain't really like okay yeah you know what <laughs> i mean yeah, that's yeah. not really a thing for them so i wanted to create something that was for both like mm. we need to be able to go on the date have some fun mm -hmm. get some laughs in mm -hmm. and play a game and you might win and come back with some money more sure. money than you walked in with for sure talk about the breakdown like because i know you got comedy you got dancing mm -hmm. you got the uh you know kino game mm -hmm. so how do it go like you come in like give me the breakdown of what you're doing each step of the way so um you come in we play three games so you come in the music going consistently mm -hmm. um you able to buy food Okay. So, you know, you probably come in. As soon as you come in, I have a host right there give you your board mm -hmm. as soon as you come in. So that's always included upon your ticket. Okay. Um, and also <clears throat> we give... So our last event, we gave, uh, like, cups. Mm -hmm. So it was a BYOB vendor. Okay, that's always Yeah, here. so that's always cool. Yeah. So everybody uh, came in, they get a cup for anything that they drinking on or whatever. And, you know, you take that home, whatever, a souvenir mm -hmm. cup. And... um. I open up and, you know, welcome everybody and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we get into the first game. The winner wins. We take pictures. We get to hustling, dancing, mm -hmm. different things like that. I do the second game. Um, 
So after the second game, I introduced the comedian that's coming up. Mm -hmm. So the comedian does a set. The set usually between seven to ten minutes. Okay. Um, but it can go to twenty minutes. Okay, okay. okay. So it just kind of depends on who the comedian is that day. Mm -hmm. Um, they do a set and then they do the last game. Okay, okay. So, yeah. so the last up. game they just you know throwing out numbers, making people laugh with the numbers and stuff like that. And then after that is is over. And then after yeah. that, you know, he dance and stuff and it's over. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. So I sell my board game at the event, so a lot of people buy the game. I sign it, you know, mm -hmm. and they. That's what's up. Hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Now, um, who I know you you mentioned um, you know, Comedy J Will and Ugly Who? Yeah, Ugly Jason. Oh yeah, I about to call him Ugly Craig. Ugly. Oh, yeah, Ugly, <laughs> <laughs> Ugly Jason. Who are some other comedians that you want to work with? You know what I'm saying? That you've been looking at. Um, I work with my dog Uncle Smooth, man. Uncle Smooth, shout out to you, cuz. Uncle Smooth, he did our last show. Oh, he did. Okay, he yeah, did our dog. last show. Okay. Yeah, he cool. That's he's good guy. Good yeah, guy. yeah, like my light skinned dude. We got a couple <laughs> people that we've um we've worked with mm -hmm. uh, so far, but not but we also been going in and out of state as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so we kind of been mm -hmm. reaching out to some people out of state. Um, if the in state people like, oh, I'm busy. <laughs> yeah, blah, blah. for sure. But yeah, so it's a couple of different people. Um, Judge Miles, you know, she's done our show a couple of times before. T Barb have done our mm. show before. Um, yeah, so we, I mean, it's a couple of people. Man, oh my God. Um, I have, we've had so many Trap Kinos. Mm -hmm. Like when I think about it, because if you think we started off on Fridays. Okay. And then like black people, they yeah, they ain't work. They ain't the Friday didn't work. Mm -hmm. They was rushing because uh, mm -hmm. our time six thirty to nine thirty. Mm -hmm. so, so they like we just getting off work. Yeah. They like I'm here. All right, did we miss a game? I'm like no, it's it's okay. For sure, so yeah, we yeah. Had to, Saturday is a little easier. Saturdays yeah, day party. Yeah, then Sunday you are uh, people trying to get ready for the week and shit. Yeah. So. And we did Sundays for a while as well. Um, but yeah, yeah. we back to Saturday. Now are you planning on like if I? I got a, a birthday I want to, and I want you to come out there and do Trap Kina for my birthday. You know what I'm saying? Do you plan on doing something like that, or is that something you already, you know what I'm saying, got in the works? So we've done some private events. Mm -hmm. um, I've done some private events. Mm -hmm. um, but it's so funny because now we are restructuring mm -hmm. with what's going on at the building. So it would have been like you didn't even have to do that. You would have been able to get a booth at my building mm -hmm. and celebrate yeah, yeah, there yeah, yeah. if you want or you know do a private party different things like that but mm -hmm. hey we able to alter yeah. and we when you're doing do that are you providing still everything the comedian the music yep. everything okay that's yep. what's up yep i provide everything mm -hmm. not yep. i know you got the board game for reasons of not being able to you know saying always go out of town and, and you know travel with the game mm -hmm. but do you plan on ever doing that like kind of like taking this on tour and you being the face and going yeah. places yeah so um when i went to atlanta about four Four months ago, five months ago, um, I did some connecting down there. Mm. So we are going to be trying to move Trap Kino state to state. Mm. Um, but I'm trying to just pack it out in Detroit first. And then right now we also looking into like residency. Mm. Yeah. That'd be dope. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, so. what's the goal with Trap Kino? <sighs> Honestly, if I don't do... The goal with Trap Kino is to probably... It's so funny because I was considering, um, like, getting into the casino mm -hmm. and having my own, like, area just yeah, for sure, for you, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Very dope. So, it's kind of like my goal is to get people from the casino, but I can't get them from if I don't get in their face. <laughs> so, uh, so um, and then just to have that other avenue, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, I'm definitely considering, like, trying to get that whole, like, residency mm -hmm established um with the city of detroit for sure hell yeah motor hell city yeah. we we trying to i'm trying to be patient and wait to the strike over yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah yeah so now uh with the board game how can they you know saying you got a website they can purchase the you know board mm -hmm. game from how, how do they get a hold to it so um with the board game you can purchase it on our website uh i only do I don't really do pop ups, mm -hmm. uh, but I am doing a pop up. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm doing Mr. Light Show, his boo bash. Okay. Are you familiar with Mr. Light Show? Gotta get hip. Man, he is like one of the dopest. He is literally probably the dopest DJ in Detroit. Okay, okay. So he's uh, moving a very known DJ that's moving in the city. Mm -hmm. He do some of the um, 
he do some big shows downtown and then he does does like the ultimate white show mm. um the white party okay. downtown as well but i'm doing his boo bash it usually sell up to like five mm. at least three okay. 500 people okay. so i am gonna go there and work with him he actually dj my wedding so yeah. shout out to mr light show he yeah. is shout out shout out shout out he does a lot of artists like mm. he does a lot of football players he's more of a celebrity okay. dj okay 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 that's what's up man mr light show come on through cuz yeah you know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> come on through mr light show yeah. so uh how, how much is it for uh for a board game for the people who want so to know so on the website the board game is 45 dollars that's okay. flat rate flat rate shipping mm -hmm. fee um but if i'm po i'm popping out at the um so I'm doing them forty dollars flat. Okay. Okay. Yep. So with the board game, um, it's actually was created uh, with I created the board game along with Allison Sims. Are you mm. familiar? Uh, artist? Nope, nope. Oh man. Nope. So Allison Sims is an artist. She does a lot of work. Her um, she does like Detroit. She's an artist, so okay. she paints. Mm. So she does murals mm. down. She's a muralist. Okay. Okay. I mean put it out there for what she actually is she's a muralist yeah. and she does uh different murals down in the city of detroit um she gets a lot of her work for like key glock mm. he gets some of her work he she did a lot of like the pistons mm. oh, so um good. yeah she does things i mean just for different people in the city of detroit her name allison sims shout her out mm. 107 allison on instagram y'all check out her work she does okay, shoes man. everything i got a couple people i got looking to look into yeah so <laughs> she actually so she actually drew every single person every okay. single image was drawn oh sure um yep yeah, just drawn i wanted everything to be authentic mm -hmm. that's what's up yeah now what's an overrated board game overrated to me i monopoly monopoly is yeah, it's overrated. overrated to me <laughs> you know what i think honestly like monopoly a little bit overrated. yeah it, it takes too long I, I, maybe i'm playing it wrong gonna take too damn long to get through <laughs> my cousin be playing it wrong because i <laughs> All right, niggas making deals and just it just take too long. I'm good on Monopoly. Yeah, Monopoly is still just it's a good game for what mm. it's trying to teach us. Now, of course, this this would be a part of a game night. You know what I'm saying? Yep. What's some do's and don'ts for a game night to have a successful game night? What's some do's and don'ts? Do's and don'ts: don't drink too much. <laughs> People get too crazy. Mm -hmm. Over the game nights when they drink too yes, much. Yes, yes, yeah. And you gotta come ready to participate. Come ready to participate. My cousin had through an excellent game night. He had everything, stations for everything. And everybody was just on the phone, yeah. on Facebook. Like, what? nigga, it's game night. You should stay yeah. home. <laughs> One thing about Trap Kino was so great is that I made sure that this would be a game. So this comes with 15 boards. Okay. So everybody can so play. So everybody can be engaged in one game. Mm -hmm. Only four people can play space. Yeah, yeah, I think sure. only six people wait. can play Monopoly. Yeah. I mean, only two people can play Connect Four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. And there's only so many people can play Uno. Yeah, like, so, exactly. So this is something that is it's 15 boards. Mm -hmm. They come with uh, 52 cards and okay. 300 chips, a little more than 300 chips. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, it's a great game night. Like, And then everything on the game, don't make me go open it, yeah. but everything on the game is things that we can relate to. Mm -hmm. Grab it. It's your show. Sure. Okay. <laughs> It's his show, so that's, I got to tell him to grab it. So oh, that's what I, can, saying. I, my I can explain you should, to you, you guys. Told yes. You just told me. Get my ass up. I was going up. <laughs> grab it. Grab it. So it's things that you can relate to. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, I see one of them. Yeah, Cardi B on there and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, see, and all yeah. of those images Mike are Epps. drawn. Are you know, drawn. So, got yeah. Goddamn Rick Ross on his mug. Okay. Right that's some of the artists that we definitely you know think. So, we also have a card that's coming to the game. Um, It's called My Cousin Say I Look Like. And it's a reference card. Okay. So, um, we didn't want to put direct names on anything. Okay, okay, okay. But, um, you know, it's just to keep me from getting sued. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> once I get in my millions, everybody going to be coming back once they done blew through their money. Like, you For know sure. what? I am on that game. No, you're yeah. not. Got Kevin Hart in his mother's side of the baby. Yeah. He said she, uh, uh, Allison drew all this, right? Yes. Allison drew every single image. That's what's up. Hell yeah. Yep. She drew every image. So, uh, yeah. And then just some things that we can do. So, like, connect. You know, the the iPhone. Mm -hmm. You know, the watch. We all like Rolexes. And then everything within the game. I also put our spade. So, um, this is trademark copyright. So, we have a specific spade mm -hmm. that we use. So, we try to put that into everything. I'm on the game as well as you can see. For sure. 
Oh yeah, <laughs> like, you know. You know, cause you know I'm the trap queen, cause I be yeah. trapping. You know, I trap on all levels. So. For sure, hell yeah, hell yeah. Except yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't do that. So yeah, so I mean, and then this is Glenn Fox. He mm -hmm. plays the um, comedian Jerome. So oh, he's yeah. done our show as well. We <laughs> pay for him to come up here and do our show as well. Yeah. So he do that. So yeah, it's 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 different. It's mm -hmm. it's it's something different. No, for it's sure. something cool. You yeah, get yeah. you a board, fifteen people. Mm -hmm. You know, five in a time. row you win, you know, diagonal, straight across, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. So and okay. every board different. For sure, for sure. Now you said that, you know, saying eventually you want to take over the morning show for Steve Harvey. Oh, yeah. That's not, so, that's what I want. I, I got this thing called making the band. Usually I do okay. it with rappers. When you give me you and four other people, make, you know, saying what that'd would, be my team. Yeah. So your team, you and four other people would be your team for the morning show. Who would, who would those people be? Me. Mm. TD Jakes. Okay. <laughs> Probably T.I. Uh, mm hmm. Some more, and I will say Cardi B. Okay, okay. that's interesting. interesting <laughs> that's a different team, ain't it? No, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I said my wife, I love Ti, but I hate when he get interviewed. You do? Yeah, I hate when Ti get interviewed. I hate when Rick Ross get interviewed. And I hate when DJ Khaled get interviewed. <laughs> luckily, luckily, it make good music. <laughs> Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. When um, and if I had to swap out somebody and put somebody else, I probably would um, if I had to swap out Ti. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Since you done dogged out one of my co-hosts, <laughs> he done dogged out one of my co-hosts. Hey, so if I had to swap him out and just throw somebody else in there mm -hmm. to just kind of bring a little difference. Um, there, I would probably choose somebody that wouldn't even be somebody different, like. Who, me? Oh, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. I bring you on, Shad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Best part I, I, I bring you on, Shad. <laughs> you know I bring I you appreciate on. T.D. Jackson and all them people I, being around I bring me. you on. I you bring know what I'm saying? Probably Jay-Z, though. Yeah, that'd be dope. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, that's my birthday sake, so. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me yeah, and yeah, him yeah. share the same birthday, so. Yeah, yeah. You know. yeah I, I, everybody younger than me, because you born in 1990. Yeah. Every, how old are you? Uh, shit, you know. He don't so even no, remember. You know a nigga old. He don't remember how old he is. I'm 37. I was born in 86. Okay, you're not even... So me? what? I'm up there. My uh, the girls. You only four years older than me. The girls on my team like, oh, you pushing forty, coach? I'm like, yeah, shut up, shut yeah, the hell up. You are. I am pushing forty. I'm not gonna do. I'm right there like, hello. <laughs> That's wisdom. Yeah. I got a lot of gray hair. So. That's what's up. That's what. Now, I'm young, um, but I'm old. What's some young nigga shit versus some things you've been through? What's some things that you believed in as a youngin that you look at like, what the hell was I thinking? Um. When I was, as far as me being young, some mm -hmm. things that... That you don't believe in now, that you believed in back then. Man, I didn't think it was that important to um, to really be on top of the word. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it was, that was some young, stupid shit. Mm -hmm. No, for sure. Didn't even understand. Mm -hmm. um, and then not understanding, too, music, hey, music... Get you through things. No, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Hell it, yeah. it helps. It's a, it's a bring back memories. Everything. It does. Mm -hmm. So, like, damn, I remember I was in the car with Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> remember that day? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Felicia. Yeah. <laughs> when it's all said and done, how you want to be remembered? You know what I'm saying? I know you want one day you want to go by not having to say your whole name. They just know you as you know what I'm saying Darnitha and John. Like, yeah, go Darnitha yeah, right there. Go there. Darnitha. You feel me? Um, honestly, I want to be remembered as just somebody that. uh helped mm -hmm. i want to be a help to the world i want to basically be an imprint to just help in any way helping though for real for real so sure. now Whether i'm connecting somebody to someone that can help them mm -hmm. or i'm leading people i just want i'm a leader so mm -hmm. i definitely want to make sure i'm helping for sure. people for sure now we uh end things off with this thing called worse uh what's worse you know what I'm saying? Some of it is funny. Some of it is, you know what I'm saying, silly and shit. Just, what's worse? Okay. All right, what's worse? Breaking up in person or breaking up over a text? Mm, breaking up in person. Nah, over a text. Over a text? That's yeah. worse. What's worse? Failing at something or not starting? Not starting. No, right. What's worse? You find out your mate is cheating through text or in action? What's worse? Yeah. Through text. All right. I think I will need to see it. 
<laughs> yeah. What's worse, find out your parents aren't your real parents or your siblings are adopted? <laughs> <laughs> um, my siblings are adopted. That's worse? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think, yeah. yeah it, it, it both bad. <laughs> All right, now this one, this one start getting silly. That mean you adopted this whole time. I didn't even have to deal with you. <laughs> no. <laughs> now this one start. This is this is a silly ass question right here. Okay. What's worse, losing your man to your homegirl, or losing your man to your ex? <laughs> wow. <laughs> losing my man to my homegirl. That's worse. Yeah. Oh, I don't, after me, I don't care who you be with. But the fact that you leaving with somebody who I hung with every day, but, it's like they learned the blueprint yeah, to grab you. Like you lose your man to your ex, and he a man. That's a little bad too. Who cares? <laughs> you about to be my ex man. <laughs> Y'all both my exes. Who cares yeah. after that? What's worse, not having money for your kids on Christmas, or not having money on your kid's birthday? What's worse, mm -hmm. not having money on your kids. Mm. Things happen. Yeah, yeah, not for sure. <laughs> Things happen, but um, which one is worse? Mm -hmm. Probably not having money on your kid's birthday. Mm, okay, okay. Christmas, y'all ain't always gonna get something. <laughs> <laughs> What's worse, somebody talking through a movie or somebody telling you the ending? Talking through the movie. All right. What's worse, dying from getting shot or dying from getting stabbed? Oh man, the question. Yeah. <laughs> um, do it matter if you're dying? I mean, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's Both. True. Yeah, the agony of getting stabbed. Like, ah, ah. What's worse? Yeah, yeah, getting stabbed probably worse than getting <laughs> shot. What's worse? No car, nice crib, or nice car, no crib? No car, nice. Wait, what? What's worse? No car with a nice crib. Or a nice car with no crib. Uh, what's worse mm -hmm. is a nice car with no crib. Okay, okay. What's worse? Being a tall nigga with short arms? But you know what? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what? Being a tall nigga with short arms. Oh, my goodness. Or being a short nigga with tall legs. Because, you know, the torso is short. <laughs> but the legs long as hell. What is this? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> um probably being short with okay. long legs. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> I told you to get silly. All right, got two more. Okay. What's worse? Your man come extra quick. I'm talking three pumps and he out or he can't get it up at all. Can't get it up to even get the quick pit. <laughs> so I mean, can't get it up. Yeah, it might be the three best points of your life. Right. Right. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm embarrassed. No. All right. Last one. What's worse? Titties with no nipples or nipples with no titties? Titties with no nipples. <laughs> Nipples, ain't that the best part of the breast? I mean, yeah, you know, you know, you get to you know, go crazy on them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, no. I, hey, I appreciate you coming on the show, man. Oh, thank you. What's for um, how can, versus everybody. How can people follow you? Where they can, you know what I'm saying, on social media, give them the website for the game and everything. Okay, so you can follow me on social media at Trap Kino on Instagram, TikTok, mm -hmm. Facebook. Um, or Darnita Davis. I don't mind. I don't mm. mind people getting in my business. I ain't got nothing to hide. You mm. know why? Because nobody's perfect. No, for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, LinkedIn at Darnita Davis. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, TikTok, Darnita the Motivator. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're a motivator, huh? Yes, I am. Oh, so well, give us some motivation words that we should go by, you know what I'm saying, to our listeners who might be going through some stuff. Okay. Uh, for the listeners, whoever going through anything in your life, Understand that these things that we're going through are momentarily. Mm. Don't get caught up on the moment. And uh, don't let a win go to your head. For sure. Facts. <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah. Don't let a win go to your head. Okay. But don't let a, lo a loss go to your heart. And last but not least, how do you want to be remembered in this world? You feel me? When it's all said and done, how do Darnita Davis want to be remembered? Darnita Davis. Hashtag amazing. <laughs> That's what's up. You, 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 hey, she was an amazing person. She was an amazing person. I'm a mother. I'm a wife. 
I'm a business owner. I'm an entrepreneur. Mm. I'm a person that been through struggle. I'm a woman that have been hurt before. I'm somebody that's been cheated on. Whatever. Mm. All of those things. I've experienced, um, you know, breakthrough as well, though. I've mm. experienced good. I, I had to go through life to know, you know, what it comes out of it. So, yeah. Yeah. Did, when you got cheated on, would you, did you come back for revenge? No. Oh, he wasn't one of those ones. I'm gonna cut your tires. And... Nah, that's too much. Yeah, brick your house up. And I run. ain't crazy. <laughs> I'm crazy, but I ain't crazy. But no, again, like I said, I appreciate you coming on. It was a good conversation. Thank you. Thank you. Know what I'm saying, make sure y'all get great to have goddamn trap Kino. You know what I'm saying? Definitely get grab the thing, game. Purchase it, please. You purchasing one today? Oh, Let's no, tell, uh, your, tell your oh, no, viewers uh, right uh, now what type of man I'm sitting next to. Oh, you sitting next to a, a broke man right now? Because I woke up, <laughs> <laughs> I woke up and got paid. And that money left like right there. But I'm as soon a, as you got it, yeah, it was out the door. That that's that probably why I was sick this morning. Like God, fucking damn it. See, but no, as soon as I get some <laughs> some, some some bread, I'm getting it for sure. I, Thank that, that, you. That's yeah, a fact. you can go on my website a, to get tickets to our show. Oh yeah, no, me and my wife definitely gonna have to come to a show. Yeah, you definitely. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a it's a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna sure. bring some back. Y'all gonna yeah. have a reason to come home and get back acquainted with each other. No, but I definitely this gonna be. I'm gonna get this game so me and my people can play during the game night. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, that's my word. I'm gonna buy one just today. Okay. Okay. Ain't today. I got paid, <laughs> and the money just went through. Right? That's all right. Hey, ain't no rush, man. It's gonna be here. That's one thing about Trap Kino. We here in Detroit right now. That's the only thing but about doing know. the show on Friday when you get paid and you get broke real quick. Cause now you gotta hide that that pain. Like damn. At least you got paid. <laughs> the bills kicked my ass today, though. <laughs> At least you can pay them. Some people out here filling out a ser. You know what that is? No, tell me. Mm. You don't know real struggle. No, I, oh, 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 I know struggle. <laughs> I know struggle. S C R is when you ask the government to help you pay your bills. You oh, see, shit. I know about those type of things. I'm gonna call them tomorrow. Resources. <laughs> I'm gonna call that nigga right 211. now. Call two one one. They'll help you out. Man, no, I ain't yeah. that bad. I ain't that bad. I can pay my okay. bills, but I can lie and say I can't. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you can lie and say you can't. Yeah. 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 Give me. Hey, can you pay my rent this month, please, man? <laughs> if it's you a want, hard time. If, shit. if you want. But yeah, definitely <laughs> check me out. Y'all can get any information you want about Trap Kino. Any mm -hmm. type you want to contact me, you can go through my website, www.trapkino.com. All right, yeah. Like I said, this is the real... Or Darnitha Davis. I have a, a personal website also, okay. darnithadavis.com. You can okay. check that out as well. Now, this was the real episode 175. I know I said that on the last one. But uh, yeah, 175, <laughs> Darnitha Davis. Shout out to everybody. Ain't no competition. If it is, I don't see that shit, man. We out. All right.